Hey guys, it's Jess. Welcome back to my channel. And it feels like it's been a little while since I've had a camera in my hands. Feels like I have said that the past three videos, but life has just been really, really busy lately. So even though my videos have been going up semi-regularly, I haven't actually been filming all that much. So it feels really good to be getting back into it today. And I am coming at you guys with a weekly vlog this time. So I have a jam-packed week of activities like today i'm going out for a girls day out with b from bb beauty and then i've got a girls night in tonight which i may or may not film and then tomorrow i'm heading out for brunch with another friend i'm getting my eyelashes done and then i have a week of beauty blogger events as well which i thought i'll capture on camera and put it all into a weekly vlog so you can see what i get up to in a week thinking about my diary for the next week is a little bit overwhelming but it does feel really good to be getting out and catching up with all of my friends, even though it is all in the space of a week. So it's going to be pretty crazy, but I'm really looking forward to it. So that's what this week's vlog is going to be about. And I actually already filmed the intro to this video like three times because I was doing a little bit of a get ready with me so you could see how I achieved this makeup look. But it was a total fail. I tried out this new primer which I've been using for the past week and I completely love it. It's the Mecca Max Mattifying Matte Primer, something like that, and it usually is really good. But this, today, it was just a total fail. I'll include a clip because I'm not gonna to make the whole video. It just seems to ball up and it drives me bonk. See, can you see that? Can you see that? <sighs> So that was a bit of a fail. So I did my makeup off camera just because I needed to get it to work for me. Isn't it the most frustrating thing with makeup especially is that if it's something doesn't work, you just have to keep reapplying it and reapplying it and reapplying it. And it's just, I want makeup products that I can trust to be good every time. So I just used a completely different primer this time and made it work for me. But regardless, that is a side story. I am heading out today with B from BB Beauty because we're catching up for lunch. So shall we get going? Let's get this vlog started. Let's go. It's such a beautiful day today. places in Melbourne it's been around for a few years now like I had my uni graduation dinner there so <laughs> that was a little while ago but now we're just gonna go wander around the city probably go visit Mecca because it's their 20th birthday um, this weekend so they've got some events happening in store and we're just gonna have a chill one so let's go <laughs>
guys, so I am home now. It's around 7 p.m. on Saturday night. And I realized I forgot to say goodbye to B in the vlog, so <laughs> my bad completely. But we had a really nice day out in the city. After we went to Mecca, we also went to Priceline and the Body Shop and have a look at some of the new makeup releases. And I actually bought something from Priceline, which I think is in my bag somewhere. So B and I both decided to get the Maybelline Tattoo Brow Gel Tint to give give it a go but I don't know whether I will do a video on this I might do a post on my Instagram if it works out for me I just know that if I do a first impressions I'm probably gonna screw it up so I'm not gonna risk it but it looks cool I might give it a try it looks fun and if I wear a paper bag over my head for a few days then you'll know why <laughs> but for the rest of the night I am actually just going to get changed into some comfortable clothes because I'm going out to stay in. I'm going over to my friend's place for a girls night in basically and it should be a very relaxing just chill have some wine have some chocolate kind of night which is exactly what I need after the week that I have had. So I'm going to go do that. I probably won't bring my camera along with me to it but you guys will see me very soon in tomorrow's vlog which is just going to be part two of this weekly vlog so keep watching. It'll be 12 hours for me, probably, but it'll be two seconds for you guys. So I'll see you in a second. Bye. Good morning, guys. It is now 11 o'clock on Sunday morning. I had a really good girls night in last night with my friends. We were just sitting around talking, eating junk food, and just having a good, like, relaxing girls night. Plus, I took all of my unused beauty samples that I get sent as a beauty blogger because sometimes I get sent stuff that's not my color or just doesn't suit my skin type or whatever. So I had a big bag of stuff to share with all of the girls last night, and that went down a treat. This morning I am going out for brunch with my friend Mel from uni, so we're going to My Other Brother Cafe in Camberwell because they graciously invited us over for breakfast and like a typical basic Melbourne girl, I will never say no to going out for brunch. So we are going to head there this morning and then afterwards I'm getting my lashes done at Tam's Beauty Shop. If you've been watching some of my really, really early vlogs, then you'll know Tam's Beauty Shop already because it's where I always go to get my nails done and get my lashes done. So I'm getting a refresh on my extensions this morning with Tam's. So it should be a really, really chill Sunday, which is exactly the kind of Sunday I need. Brunch and pamper. Let's go. <laughs> home now it's Sunday afternoon at the moment and I've just knocked my pillow over I had a very good day out with Mel getting breakfast at my other brother thank you so much my other brother for having Mel and I for breakfast this morning the food was amazing I ordered this like salmon quinoa bowl with a poached egg and halloumi and it was it was really really good and then I went to Tam's beauty shop to get my lashes done they are done now so I'll take my glasses off my makeup probably smudged a little bit at the moment, but that's okay. We'll just pay attention to my eyelashes, so I'll bring you guys in. I decided to go for a full set of sort of slightly curled but not too long lashes, just because I wear glasses most of the time and they tend to touch my lenses if they're a little bit too long, so I normally go for a shorter full set. I really like the way that they look. For the rest of my Sunday, I'm just going to try and get some work done, but I will see you guys very soon because I'm going to a blogger event tomorrow with Clarisonic and Lancome, so I'm going to end this section of the vlog here and I will see you in a couple of seconds. 
Bye. Hey guys, it is now Monday afternoon and I am on my way to the Clarisonic and Lancome event. I am just in the lift right now heading up to the venue, so should be a really nice night of beauty and skincare. Let's go. Uh, how's it going? I've just gotten back from the event with Clarisonic and Lancome and it was so much fun learning about all of the new products that they've got launching especially there's this brand new Clarisonic foundation blending brush that I know you guys are gonna be really excited about and they might have treated me to one so I've got a little goodie bag here of some of the things that I picked up from the event so I thought I'd do a little bit of an unbagging so you can see what I got so first we have the Clarisonic Sonic foundation brush so it's exactly the same as the brush heads you'd use on your normal Clarisonic except this is actually for buffing in your foundation we did get a bit of a demo which I think you guys would have seen earlier on in the vlog but I'm really excited to give this one a try so this is the brush, it just attaches onto your Clarisonic as per normal and then it buffs in your foundation. Really curious to see how this works, so maybe I'll do a demo sometime soon so you guys can see. These guys are new as I understand it, and one is a stick foundation and the other one is a stick concealer. They actually matched us at the event as well, so I am the shade porcelain beige and that sounds a little bit light to what I'm kind of used to being when it comes to foundation usually I'm more of a natural beige or a honey beige so we'll see how these ones go I'll open them up so we can have a look so this is the foundation stick actually note that does look like it would be my shade it was a bit hard to tell in the light at the event to see which shade suited me the best but this one looks like it's a pretty good match and this is the concealer. Apparently it is super full coverage, so it'll be really good when I only get five hours sleep, which is pretty much every night. So, plus one of my friends at the event, Susie, makes these super cool pom-pom earrings. Her Instagram is the pom pomery, so I'll link it down below so you guys can go check her out. But she makes all of these different earring designs and they are so cute. What do you guys think? Oh, they're so cute. So that is everything that I got from the event. Thank you so much Lancome and Clarisonic for having me tonight. I had a really good time just playing with makeup, catching up with all of my friends. It was just a good night. So I think I might actually end the vlog here. It was going to be a weekly vlog, but it's more of a weekend vlog. It's like Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So it's, it's more of a weekend vlog, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Do let me know in the comments below if you guys prefer these like longer vlogs where I do a couple of days or if you like the ones where I just do one day, like one dedicated activity because I would love to know. And I think I'm going to end it there. So thank you very much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.